In 2008, a study done by Clairol found that 75% of American women dye their hair. If you're among that 75%, chances are you dye your hair for one of more of three reasons. To cover grays, to change up your style, or to restore your hair to its original color. If you're interested in dyeing your hair, you'll soon discover that you have several options. We're gonna go over each in detail so you get a better understanding of what's really going on when you color your hair. First, I'm gonna start by saying there's no such thing as a natural or organic permanent hair dye. There's basically two different types of permanent hair color, oxidative hair dyes and progressive hair dyes. They're both permanent but have many differences. Oxidative hair dye is a coloring technique that penetrates dye molecules deep into your hair cortex. It's the most drastic and permanent method of dyeing your hair. So let's start here. Oxidative hair dyes have two main components, ammonia hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. The ammonia hydroxide has tiny, tiny dye chemical molecules called couplers added to it. Coupler molecules are small enough to penetrate the hair shaft. They come in primary colors, so either red, yellowish green, and blue. And as you know, mixtures of primary colors can make any other color. Hence why mixing skills is so big in the salon industry. The ammonia has an alkaline pH of about 11. So its purpose is to swell up and lift the hair's cuticles, allowing these tiny coupler molecules to enter more easily. Similar to how relaxers work. Oh yeah, ammonia is also used in cleaning products bug and animal repellents, and in tarnish removers, just saying. The second component to an oxidative permanent hair dye is the hydrogen peroxide, which is used to simultaneously bleach your natural hair pigment and develop the new hair dye color, hence why it's often called a developer. It's usually in the form of a light cream so it can spread easier. These two components are mixed immediately before adding it into your hair. Once added, the alkaline pH of the ammonia causes the hair cuticles to swell, lift, and even dissolve in some sections. This allows the color molecules to easily penetrate. The hydrogen peroxide oxidizes, which initiates a chemical reaction called the polymerization reaction. That causes the dye molecules to combine and increase in size. Hence why the hydrogen peroxide is referred to as a developer. The higher the volume of the developer, the more powerful it is. Due to its new larger molecular size, the dye becomes trapped into the cortex and can never be washed out. The combination of the ammonia hydroxide and the hydrogen peroxide causes the hydrogen peroxide to react and oxidize. This reaction completely bleaches your hair's natural melanin, so you achieve a new hair color as promised and not a mixture of your natural hair color and the dye color. This is the only way to achieve a lighter color than your natural hair color permanently. The decision to permanently dye your hair is completely up to you. These days, many things we put in and on our bodies comes with a risk. Being more informed empowers you to make clearer decisions and balance it out. We're gonna go over almost every form of synthetic and organic hair dye in the next few videos in this order. So stay tuned. Did you know that we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram? Find the links in the description section of all the videos and in the Green Beauty channel page in the banner section. 
as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.